what's up guys i'm doing a little bit of a different video today it's more of a you'll see what i'm doing here which is a uh live edge river table if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe uh i am jared tachi and i uh, do a little more projects like this as time goes on but I lived full time in a van for three years, and now I am transitioning into container home, and I will be doing another van build in the very near future, uh, which will be my third van uh, that I've built out. But this one, I'm doing a lot more woodworking, uh, and I'm actually working inside of a van builder shop, uh, believe it or not. So thank you to Nomadic Customs for letting me use the shop. Appreciate that. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm actually grinding down the uh, live edge portion of the table. Uh, I eventually will cut it in half, and then I will biscuit joint the two pieces together. I'll butterfly it, I guess, is the best way to, I guess, describe it, which you'll see here in a little bit or a little later in the video. A lot of this, a lot of these river tables, uh, you know, there's a lot of preparation. I have a lot of experience in river table building. I actually just built another one. Uh, from Mark, which you'll actually see a portion of it later in this, this video, but uh, this one is predominantly about my river table. It's a different style than I've done before, which I will also explain later on in the video. Um, but as you can see, I get pretty dirty and pretty dusty. Uh, that is black walnut, and then the uh, epoxy I will pour in later on in the video. So, hope you guys all enjoy. Again, please like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, check out jaredtachi.com for any consultation or any merch or anything of that nature or just find out where my whereabouts are, are or maybe some new project I'll be working on. All right, so you saw the beginning stages of what I was doing here with a new river table style that I was. And actually I got this idea from a uh, Instagram page that I follow called Live Edge Forest. Uh, they did an amazing van build themselves. I reached out to them and we started talking furniture and woodworking and I, I eventually want to tour their van, but they're up in Canada, so they're a little far for me to travel to right now. But anyways, uh, and they're on the eastern side of Canada. I'm on the western side of the United States, so we're not very close to each other whatsoever. However, uh, we've been keeping in touch, and they are just a great uh, company to talk to and just kind of bounce ideas off of, so it's been really cool. Anyways, they gave me an idea for a river table that I've been wanting to do. I wanted to redo my table in my van uh, because my last one um, was, I broke it. 
uh, let's call a spade a spade. I wanted to do a different style of river table and that's what you guys have been seeing. I wanted live edge, um, but this time I wanted live edges on both sides and I want a river running down the middle. Now in the past, what I uh, have done and what I will also do if I want to again is take a, uh, well, let me just bring the table up and I can show you because you guys have already seen it at this point. So typically what you would do is you would take these live edges, you would even rip the bark off and you'd actually flip it around the other way. So you would create a bath or make a, uh, out of like melamine board. And uh, I say bath or a form, you know, silicone everything off and then you pour the epoxy in. This way is a little bit different. It's a little bit, I don't know if you want to call it easier or harder. It's just different, a little more sturdy. So the, the, the uh, river doesn't go all the way through. It's not completely transparent. So uh, that's, the, that's the underside, which is also really nice for a uh, lagoon table mounts because when you mount a lagoon, you actually don't want to go through the epoxy. So you'd have to go around the epoxy or around the river when you do mount your lagoon leg. So this is a little bit better for lagoon tables which are predominantly in the vans so i really do want to start making these four uh van lifers these are one of a kind pieces this is black walnut from a local like lumber yard here in the portland area and they have really good uh like just all around wood just not just black walnut but other types of wood uh ranging i'm gonna do a whole bunch of different tables is what i'm trying to say i wanted to replace my table and i wanted to kind of make a really nice table for my uh for the new buyer which whoever that may be is getting a nice decided on price yet on what i would sell these tables for but i know the ones that you pour in and, and the other the other style i guess they go for about eight hundred to nine hundred dollars so this will probably be a few hundred dollars less than that so if i had to guess it's going to be somewhere on the 350 to 500 range i'll be somewhere in there depending on how many hours that i put into it um, but i'm guessing around the 500 i'm guessing maybe 450 we'll see did not want to announce this on this channel on, on this particular video but i am going to be doing probably another one i have some leftover from this black walnut and i might do it as a giveaway it's a little bit smaller than this. This is, I believe this is like 20 inches. I think the other one's like 18 inches long and it's roughly about the same width. So I might do it as a giveaway um, because this new style of carving out the river by hand, which you saw, I'm still kind of fine tuning something. So I might do it as a giveaway as, hey, you know, thank you to everybody out there. And I'll figure out how I want to do the giveaway terms, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, this is the, the new table and I'll get you guys a close up of it. This is not done yet. This is totally not done. Let's go finish this table right now. I'm gonna put a coat of protection on it, oil on it, and we're gonna see how it pops.